Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, January 19th of 2018. And uh, been playing with software radio, or SDR, software defined radio. I can't get it to pick up on the low bands or on the uh, medium wave broadcast band or HF uh, spectrum, short wave spectrum. It'll pick up FM radio, and well, I haven't had much luck with. Um, anyway, I've been playing with that um, uh, because somebody asked one person. Uh, I I wasn't going to comment on it because, as you can see, everybody else commented on the new YouTube rules. And everybody's commented, and I think all the comments that um, all the comments that I've I've heard, I've you know basically agreed with. So, and if you haven't heard what's going on again, YouTube has changed the rules, and uh, now in order to make money off of your YouTube videos. You have to have at least 1,000 subscribers and you have to have within 12 months uh, your, you have to have 4,000 hours of your videos viewed. Now, I, I'm okay. Uh, I have 2,500 subscribers. Uh, and I have, you know, way over the number of hours that, uh, and I've been, of course, that's for a 12 month period, but I was one of the first people when YouTube started, I was there, so, you know, sign me up. In the beginning, uh, YouTube didn't, uh, you couldn't even be part of the program to make money. You had to wait until they ask you to join. And then they changed the rule, you know, they changed the rules from time to time. And uh, then eventually you could apply. I remember applying and then I was accepted. Um, so my opinion on it, um, they, they need to change the rules because what they're trying to do is what, you know, what is happening is it's it's been that way from the beginning of before even the World Wide Web that started in 1995 when was the internet. Uh, there's people out there who just want to screw around, you know. I mean, just uh, well, since I'm old, I'm going to say it's young whippersnappers, young kids, you know. But it's probably it's probably not. But there's just people who want to mess things up. And I think we all love the Internet and the World Wide Web. Man, everything you can do, it's just fantastic. Uh, but they, And I think these people probably love it too, but they're, you know, crapping in their own nest. Uh, I mean, they mess it up. So, you know, YouTube has had all these controversies popping up. And which hurts advertisers, or which, you know, advertisers don't want to go to YouTube and all that type of stuff. So YouTube keeps trying to fix things to make advertisers happy and feel safe and so they don't get any bad publicity. And you've got people that, like, was it, is it Logan Paul, his name, the guy that went over to, uh, the guy is a jackass, young jack, a whippersnapper, a young whippersnapper, you know. Jackass, a dumbass, and he. But he has a fantastic following. I have two thousand five hundred subscribers, and I started in two thousand and five. I have a feeling he probably started this year. Well, not this year. It's just he probably started last year. He didn't. He don't think he's been around very long, and I think he probably has millions of subscribers. And uh, people love his fucking ass stupid videos. Uh. You know, he went over to Japan and ran around in the streets of Japan being an, an asshole. Uh, 
book and movie called The Ugly American. He, wow, he would fit in that category for sure. Then he went to the, Japan has a problem with suicide because of their culture and the expectations that are put on those people, even the kids, you know, doing well in school. And they have a lot of suicide. They have a suicide problem. And there's a forest there that uh, a lot of Japanese go to and commit suicide in the forest. So he took his buddies uh, and he went there and they found a body and they acted like clowns around it and laughed and giggled and uh, uh, made video of it. And he posted a video on YouTube and uh, YouTube messed up. They, he also has been picked. He's in the, or he, he's removed. I mean, they removed him now, but he was in the top tier. And I'm, I don't know exactly of, you know, and I think they had a movie deal set up with him and, or something to do on in this top tier thing where you, you know, who cares? Um, and, because he's their golden-haired boy, or was, and I'm sure still is, because he gets views, and more views you get, the more, with advertising, you know, the more money you make if you're a uh, YouTube maker, and the more money YouTube makes. So uh, that video went up, and I guess it was flagged by everybody that saw it. Well, not everybody, because he has a tremendous number of followers that think that whatever he does is, oh, wonderful. But uh, YouTube really didn't do anything for, I don't know how long, how many hours, how many days. And uh, <clears throat> finally he removed it himself and then made a half-assed apology, giggling and, you know, being stupid. And then I guess he made another apology, which was more, you know. Uh, but That was so aggrievous that what they should have done is that should have been it. They should have said, you know, now I'm sure he would have done all right because he has a ton of followers, but they should have just said, uh, bye bye asshole. And that should have been, now it pissed off a lot of providers. I am not really into the politics of this stuff. A lot of people are, but a lot of providers and not just little tiny providers, you know, like I am, but uh, some of the big boys or whatever were really upset that he gets away with doing that or he, they, you know, for a while he got away with it and apparently he's still going to get away with it really. But, so I really haven't got into, but, and okay, so now my views on it because somebody, one person asked me for my views. But a lot of people have, commented on it and almost I think all of the um, comments that I actually watched by people uh, I agree with them uh, so number one YouTube needs to do that because you've got bad players, you've got people who come in and who create a YouTube site and they're immediately they can make money from a video. Well, not here and now, <clears throat> but they came in, they would create more than one site. They could create a site and upload other people's video. They could download, they wouldn't download my video because it's not something, but they could download video from people who are popular. They they could upload it and they would get, you know, and uh, they could just do all sorts of things. Or they could be uh, a Nazi or a racist site or think of bad, I don't know. They could just be a bad person and they could set up a site immediately. They could put something on it. It could be racist, uh, whatever, and it would go on there and... Not only could they post it and people could come and find it, but they could actually make money from it for you know for a little while until it gets reported X number of times or until 
uh, YouTube happens to, you know, find it. And YouTube's problem is, I forget how much, uh, the, the number of videos being uploaded every day. There's, you know, and they said they're, they are hiring or have hired 10,000 people. They're adding 10,000 employees to watch, actually physically watch videos. But that's not enough. I mean, so what they want to do, there's not enough. 10,000 new employees are not enough to watch these videos and check it. Of course, they have their computer coding that looks for things. Uh, I did a video on a... Uh, pill cutter. In fact, it actually got quite a few thousands, I think, of views. I forget how many. I can check here. Uh, and it was demonetized because their system went, and it, I'd been there for years, but then when they started to say, it went through and found, uh, I'd put the tag in of drug or medicine or something, and that was enough for them to, to demonetize it. Uh, I made a video after I came home from going to the cardiologist or something. And, well, I wouldn't be the cardiologist, but my doctor, and said that the, you know, doctor had uh, changed my prescription, changed my medication, changed my, I put the word drug or something, whatever it was, in the tags, demonetized. And it was, you know, of course, nothing wrong with, uh, I wasn't advocating, hey, Here's a good place to uh, buy marijuana, you know, or whatever. So that coding doesn't work very well. They're working to try to make it better. But even 10,000 employees cannot. So what they want to do, I'm sure, is cut down to a reason. So they, they want to have trusted people in an upper tier or whatever who they can trust that this person has never, actually, I'm not in that up here or whatever, but I've never created a video that they had a problem with, you know. Um, but so they want to have people in the, the trusted tier up there. Then they want to have others that they, you know, can have enough of these people to actually view, you know, the... And, but what they've got so many, and what the problem is, these people come in, and like I said, and they create a, basically a fake, you know, YouTube site, and they can put hate stuff on it, and sure, if it gets uh, taken off, uh, they just have others sitting there, you know. Uh, so they want to try to control that, but they definitely want to make sure that no advertising appears on something like that, because that's hurt them in the past. Wall Street Journal, I think it was, did an article that uh, some big advertisers' ads, and bang, that appeared on a racist or pro-Nazi site or something. And the advertisers out there, the big ones, that advertise all over on TV, radio, and, and on YouTube, just, well, wait a minute, and that went down, and uh, there's some of these uh, big YouTubers who were making uh, several thousand dollars a month, and I, I watched a couple, and their their income had dropped to like to $100 a month or something like that, and some of those people actually have a staff of four, five, six, seven, I don't know, maybe more people who are doing, you know, doing editing, operating the camera, or whatever. So can you imagine? I mean, you know, I don't have anybody operating the camera or doing anything. And I think that's probably, I'm in the majority of most of the people making YouTube videos. So YouTube needs to do that, and they're trying to do what they need to do. Uh... So they put these new rules into effect that you have to have 1,000 subscribers now and you have to have 4,000 hours in a 12-month period, hours. Some people are saying minutes, it's hours. 
of your videos have been viewed. Now, the problem is there if you don't have those numbers, you got an email. I guess you already got an email. And uh, you can't monetize videos anymore. So there you were able to post videos, making a little bit of money maybe on the, you know, getting a few views, $5 a month or $10. Of course, you don't get it until you have a $100 amount, then they pay you. See, I've got, uh, for the last 30 days, I have made $27.77. So it will be, for me, to get that $100 amount, it's going to take three or four months. And then I'll get a, uh, money will go into my bank, $100, a little bit over $100. So, and I've been with them since 2005. But then my videos, you know, uh, so, now by the way, if if you're doing YouTube videos, you can, there's all types of statistics here that you can come and uh, see. You can find out what your most popular videos are, how long people usually watch one of your videos, uh, all types of data. So as you can see, I have 2,411 subscribers. My videos all together have got... Uh, uh, views of 1,156,000, etc. You know, um, and I make what thirty dollars a month from. And I actually, I don't make that because I spend ten dollars for YouTube Red. I spend uh, there's a another program that I think is twenty dollars a month. I think that I spend it. It gives you more access to change things and make it easier to when you make YouTube videos. Uh, plus other, you know, plus I pay for other stuff, so I'm not actually making anything. But back to the subject. Uh, so those people, people have been making money five dollars a month ten dollars a month and a lot of those people maybe it's up to 80 or 90 dollars now over all these months nine months you know of ten dollars a month or something and they're right there and they're figuring that this month or next month they were going to get a uh, you know earn enough to get a hundred dollars and a hundred dollars you know a hundred dollars is a lot of money for some people i mean it's not for a lot of people, uh, but for a lot of people, that's a lot of money. Plus, it's sort of, a, you know, hey, for the first time, I'm going to get some money from, you know, from Google. And those people that are in that group, they can still make YouTube videos. They can still upload YouTube. When I started, there was, I think it was 15 minutes. The longest your video could be was 15 minutes. And then I think that I can't remember exactly all the stages we've gone to. I think at some point it could be bigger, and then it finally they took the limit off. You can and uh, videos can be, you know, you can you can video stream all day long, uh, live stream. Um, so there've been, you know, there've been changes. But anyway, the people who don't meet this standard. They can still upload videos. They can still work to improve and do all that kind of stuff. They're just not going to earn money from advertising. And then two, I think what's honestly going to happen is there's very, there's less chance that your video is somehow going to be picked to be spotlighted or the search if somebody searches and say you did a video on, you know, uh, bass fishing or... Uh, something and other people did and if it'd be i think to be less chance that yours is going to appear when somebody does a thing for bass fishing or whatever and a search is done probably less chance that you're, you know somebody else who's a made person it sounds like the mafia doesn't it uh you know somebody who is in that category of having 
uh, the ability to monetize they may appear above you you know above you if if at all if you're if you even appear when somebody does a search uh you know their video might not be as good as your video and uh but i have a feeling you know that they might get appear ahead of you and i don't you know know that for a fact but so you can still make videos and when I started doing videos, and I started doing videos, live streaming videos, I was doing live streaming videos before there was a YouTube, before there was a Google, before there was Amazon. Uh, when I did them, I had to use my computer, and computers back then weren't uh, as power anywhere near as powerful. And if I had six or seven viewers that my computer performance went down so low that I wouldn't even be able to type a chat or something, and I sure couldn't do anything else and couldn't have many, many more than, you know. Uh, and now all this power, bang, you know, is available for free. So I do think, though, that... Uh, so YouTube is cutting those people off. It's not just... The new people who decide, if somebody decides, I want to have a YouTube site and they come here, that they have to meet that standard. It's people who have been already here working hard and they're kicked out. Not kicked off, they can still make videos, but they just can't make any, any money from them. Although you can still put links below, become an Amazon affiliate, which is free. Uh, put a link below. You just can't make it by YouTube putting advertisements on your your site. You could probably make more with Amazon links than you do with, uh, well, I'm proof, <laughs> living proof, actually. Um, so, but I do think that that's too bad that they, that, that hurts those people. i I've been in that predicament of, of every month looking to see, you know, not so much money, but uh, just to see how much I could improve and how many subscribers I get and how many views I get and all that kind of stuff. And bang, to become in, you know. But I do think that the mistake that YouTube is making, I think if somebody has earned, I don't care what it is, $5, if they have earned $5 and now you come in and say, okay, you can't make any money until you have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of views or whatever, I think they should give them the five, the $5, whatever, you know, whatever it is. Okay, let's say a dollar less. No, okay, you know. But uh, I think they should do that. So that would be my, that'd be my take on the thing. Uh, so since I have you here, uh, what else did I want to, I'm going to try to do, um, uh, more live streaming and, uh, and well, in case you're wondering, you know, I, when I started You know, I've, I've been around on computers since, got my first computer in 1978, had 4K of memory, 4K, not 4 megs, not 4 gigs, it had 4K of memory, but I upgraded it to uh, 30, was it 32, I should remember, the Radio Shack Model 1 when it come on, I think it was 48K, I think that was it, K. And when it come on, oh, uh, 48K, you know, 48K, you know. I have, sp I spent, I don't know how much money for computers over the years, for modems, uh, printers. I have my, the first printer I got was for a, a calculator, ten Texas Instrument TI-58 programmable calculator. Uh, you could program you know, some stuff into it, do some stuff. Lunar Lander and uh, 
stuff. And then I got a printer for it. The printer was about this big. It used thermal paper that was that wide. And I think it was like $350 for the for that printer. printer. So I've been around for a long... So uh, I, when I started making streaming videos, when I started making streaming videos... Um, the only videos I knew about, and I'm sure there were some other, because whenever you think you're number one, I mean, whenever you think you did something first, you'll find out that there's <laughs> hundreds or thousands of people who are also doing it at the same time or whatever. But I was on the, the World Wide Web didn't exist, but I was on the internet and that type of stuff. And, um, I didn't, there was a camera aimed that was, people talked about it on the internet. There's a camera aimed at a Coke machine in a business there, and you can actually see people going in again. There was one aimed at a coffee pot. I had a camera aimed at me 24 hours a day, seven days a week uh, going. and But people would come to the chat thing, and they would say, you're not a real live, you know, they thought it was a a tape or something. I, they, I've never seen a real person on the camera, you know, before, you know, moving or whatever. You're not really, if, if you're really, uh, if you're live, you know, raise up your hand. Wow. A, you know. So I've been around for, been around for a long time. And why did I want to tell you that? There was a reason, and I can't remember now what it is. Which reminds me, and here I go off on another tangent. I've had some people say, uh, well, such and such is really popular on YouTube. You ought to do, I don't think, I'm not sure if, it, well, somebody probably has this gaming. Or you ought to do uh, stunts, you know. You ought to do things that people are doing that get, because they'll say, well, this person here, you know, puts on a swimsuit and gets in a bathtub and pours milk in there and cereal and eats it out of the bathtub and they get lots of views. And it's really fun, you know, that's that's that person, which I think is stupid, I don't want to watch it, have no interest in watching it, have no interest in watching anything like that. I'm also not into, I don't want to watch a gamer playing a game and making commentary or talking or whatever. Now, what's his name, who was the guy in Sweden, Cutie Pie or whatever. Uh, from what I've heard, I guess uh, he was really interesting with what he was saying, you know, with the chatter that was going on. But still, I've had people say, well, you could make money doing such and such. Uh, no. I just want to be me. If If what you see is what you get. Of course, I don't. You know, I don't tell you everything. Nobody's going to tell you everything that's going on in, you know, in their life. Uh, well, there's probably somebody on YouTube that does tell you all that stuff. But, and I'm as close to that as you probably, you know, you'll probably get. But uh, none of my family wants to be in videos, and none of my family wants me to. So it makes it kind of difficult. None of my family wants me to tell you what's going on or that type of stuff. Now, if you've been watching me for years, since 1982, I started a computer bulletin board system in 1982, one of the first. And uh, uh, if you've been watching it over the years, you can read between the lines and you know that what what's going on um, in the past, back in the 1970s uh, that would have been in the blog or on well the bulletin board didn't start till 82 uh, but back in the 82 also I was doing it when I worked I had well I'm when I was in high school, I had a. When I was growing up, I had an older cousin who was 
quite a bit older than me, and he went into the Army, and then he'd come back from basic training, then he'd come back from his other training as a military police officer, and then he went to Germany, and then he came back, and he'd come back, and he'd tell stories or whatever, and I decided I wanted to be in the Army, and uh, went to a military high school, and I never thought about In school, I just thought, when I get out, I'm going to the military. When I graduated in 1959, I went down to enlist, and they rejected me. I was 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement, 40 pounds. I didn't know there was a minimum weight requirement. And then when it was selective, when the selective service, a couple years later, had me come down, and they did the, not just me, but there was 200 of us, and they did the, they sent me a card that said 1A, Damn. So I went down, okay, and the recruiter said, yeah, I got everybody that's 1A on the list. I was going to be contacting you, and I said, I'm here. I was here two years ago. I want to I want to make a career in the military. I'm ready to go in. So I picked out what I was going to be doing or whatever, and he said, uh, you know what? Well, I said, yeah, I was 40 pounds under minimum. He said, just a second. He called over to the medical office or whatever, and then they looked at the height and the weight, I guess, and they said, oh, yep. Yeah, We'll send him a card to be one Y. And uh, that was, so, uh, okay, I was heading in that direction for a reason, and now I have no idea what I was going to tell you. And I even prefaced it with that information because I was going to tell you something that I thought was interesting. So, oh, okay, yeah, now I remember, thank God. Uh, But I'll probably forget because I'll get sidetracked again. So, um, I wanted to make a career in the military. That would have been the worst thing in the world for me to do. Of course, that was, Vietnam was going on there, but that's not the reason. It would have been the worst, well, it probably would have been the reason because I probably would have been, I wouldn't have been an officer, of course, but, uh, well, the officers probably would have killed me. I, I didn't know. I had a thing with authority. I have always had a thing with authority. I didn't know. I also really didn't know how, I knew how the ROTC in the high school, we were ROTC all the time. It was like a, called a 55C or something, part of the, thing where we, you know, other high schools were, you know, two or three days a week, an hour class in ROTC. We were, we fell in in the morning outside the school, no matter what the weather was, the entire uh, battalion and uh, colors went up, the band played, you know, color guard, uh, every, you know, so but I really didn't understand. And I've watched some videos just recently. Watched some videos about there's a, some really excellent. If you're interested in that, YouTube videos by guys who either are in the military or who have been in the military, telling you what it's like and the way to best place it, the best uh, you know way to handle things, stuff like that. I oh man, oh I was going to say the officers probably would have you know taken me out. I mean that's how much of a problem I had with authority. They probably would have taken me out and been an accidental discharge and of uh, that'd be the end of that would have been the end of me. I wouldn't be here doing YouTube videos because I I really didn't I really didn't know. And I found out. But uh, I started blogging in nineteen eighty two, but before that, even when I was in high school I was putting out printed publications, mimeographed publications on mainly shortwave radio. And uh, when I was in high school, I was one of the, I don't know if you ever heard of the People to People program. Probably no matter where you are in the world, your town or city has a sister city in another country. Uh, That's part of the People to People program. I I was in high school, and Joyce Hall, the head and founder of Hallmark Cards, uh, decided to, because President Eisenhower, who was a buddy of his, had talked about people to people being the, you know, the, the thing 
And uh, then Joyce Hall contacted him and said, can I set up a people-to-people organization? And then uh, he didn't contact me personally, but somebody, his secretary or somebody, contacted me and contacted community leaders, business people, bankers, I don't, you know, whatever. And I got contacted. And I was not a community leader, not a banker. I was in high school. And, uh, or maybe right out of high school. And I got contacted and I showed up and I was one of the people who signed the charter for the first people to people organization because of shortwave listening that I was doing, the uh, publications that I was putting out. And we, you know, world friendships through shortwave, uh, my publications that I put out, other people did sections on it you know, on pen palling and uh, exchanging whatever. So I I did all of these things. And then in 1982, Computer Bulletin Board. So when I started the Computer Bulletin of course, blogging, well, Computer Bulletin Board and blogging then started. So uh, when you read my blog, like I was at work, I had trouble with uh, management, and and this is you know, I had a problem with authority, which is probably not good if you're a security officer. When I was a welder for ten years, I didn't have a problem with authority. I just went in, got underneath a railroad car, or got inside the truck, and built the truck or the railroad car or whatever. But when you're, and then for you know, a few years we had a tropical fish shop and uh, stuff like that. But when I went into uh, hospital security, when you're a security officer at a hospital or security officer any place, or if you have a problem with authority, you're supposed to be representing authority. And uh, when you have a problem with them, and I did, but that you know, I talked about that in my blog. Uh, when I did the grievances, I typed up the grievance and posted that in my blog. Here is my uh, grievance. When I won the grievance, you know, okay, the you know, I won my grievance, and uh, all that information, you know, appeared. Uh, when my wife decided she wanted a divorce, I talked about. I talked about that, not not a lot, but you knew that I was going through a divorce. You knew that that I had to move in with my mother for, you know, a few months and live there because I couldn't afford to live anyplace else with paying child support and uh, all of that. So all of that, uh, years later, uh, there was two different sites on the World Wide Web before Facebook and Twitter and those came in and sort of uh, messed things up, uh, there was two different sites that would review a, your site. And, uh, you know, one did it, then later I had another site do it. I think I might have paid one of them a little bit of money to review. And both of them said the same thing. This guy... Uh, uh, this guy claims he's been uh, around since 1982. That can't be true because uh, he said in his blog that he didn't know how to do such and such and he didn't know how to do such and such. So he couldn't have been around since 1982. And then both of them said, and this is true and it's still true. They said, oh, man, the, 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 color, the colors this guy picks are atrocious. They're just terrible. He doesn't know how to use the color wheel or whatever to get his, and they talked about that. But then uh, I think one of the reviewers did pick up because they happened to what would depend on how you're, what, what area or time you're watching, you know. One of the reviewers said all he talks about is his family problems, his marital problems. That's all he talks about. And then the other person, because they did it at a different time, they said, uh, what well, he talks about, he doesn't have one theme that he talks about. He talks about something different each, you know. 
And what neither one of those reviewers understood is, like now, whatever I'm interested in, whatever is in my, I just got a little bit of gray brain matter up there, a little bit. And whatever gets in there, I do a video on or I talk about. And there's not, a, if something else comes along, it's going to push that out, you know. And uh, so, uh, is that what I wanted to cover? Who am I looking at? My ex-wife and my grown son, they both went to Walmart to get food and uh, she'll bring back a lot. I don't think she ever spends less than 200 She'll probably spend $300. I don't know. So we'll get a lot of food, but uh, she's confined to a wheelchair and uh, we don't have a car and uh, so but anyway uh, I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I see the modulation on the... I hope my mic isn't cranked up too high. See the thing going over in the red zone. I guess I shouldn't make this too long uh, in case it's messed up. I have to watch it because I keep hooking things up. I mentioned this before in a video. I would love to have two computers uh, and have one set up that I don't hook things up, you know, just what I need and then have the other one that I uh, hook things. I have a couple items that I want to review and I'm trying to think if, uh, if I have to hook them up because when I hook something up then it changes the setting. Loads a new driver does. I'd like to have two computers that. So, uh, I guess that's it. I want to thank you very much for watching. I'm really close to 2,500 subscribers. I'm at 2,411. So, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd like to kick it up to 2,500. And, uh, not that it, it doesn't matter. You don't get it. You don't get money because of how many subscribers you have uh, or anything. Um, like I said, but I, I'm going to start doing more live streaming. And I did live streaming, like I told you, before there was a, a YouTube. Uh, okay. This isn't for everybody, so... I'm I'm guessing that 90% of, because we can tell by the statistics, you know, people watch two or three minutes of a video and that's usually it, they're gone. So I think there's probably, if you're still watching this, and you're probably somebody that's a loyal uh, uh, watcher, viewer, or friend, you'd have to be to put up with this. So, when I was live streaming, uh, and then I was waiting for a internet service provider, didn't have an internet, had to do it over the phone line. That was terrible, you know. But, uh, so I was living in a mobile home, small mobile home, and, uh, the central air went out, and I could not afford to uh, have the central air fixed. And it was hotter than hell. This was in Missouri. It was, In the summertime, it was hot. It was really hot. So, my... In the wintertime, I had on sweats, you know, sweatshirts, sweatpants, or whatever. And uh, when summer came around and the air conditioning went out or whatever, I just had a T-shirt on and nothing else. And I was streaming live video. And 
back then, and anyway, the internet service provider came and it hooked, I finally had internet, real, you know, high speed internet, well, high speed internet. Uh, wow. And then uh, he left and it was hot and I got naked. And sending out live streaming video, and because it, it went out 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and computers weren't nearly as powerful. And I think that the video card in my computer, I believe it had 4K of memory. There again, 4K of memory, not four megs, not four gigs. Uh, 4K of memory. Maybe it had 8K of memory. Maybe. I don't think so. And uh, so people, you know, watching my video and uh, I had people comment, uh, well, you drink a lot of Coke. And so, uh, you know, I, yeah, yeah, I do. But then I'm, you know, I'm looking at the video, and I'm thinking, well, kind of. I guess they can, you know, it's kind of hard to see, you know. I, I guess because I also what I like to do is have the camera far away and have the camera usually up, and it covers the entire room. And you can see me go to bed, see me, you know, everything. And uh, that's just a. a I'd rather have a. I don't. And especially the older I get, the further I want to be from this camera, you know. So um, anyway, people, I thought, well, I guess they can tell the the Coke can from the, you know, by the like the design on it. And uh, then you know, other people commenting, yeah, oh, you drink Coke and everything, and uh, another day, week, or whatever. Uh, Somebody says, um, you know, you've got large testicles. And I, yeah, I do. You know, in the chat, yeah, I do. So then uh, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Okay, the, you know, the Coke can, you could kind of make out, you know, however, whatever the colors were, you know, then, or we, you could kind of, but, how can that person, you know, I have small hands, by the way. Uh, how can that person tell the size of my testicles? And then I thought, you know, I could get an updated video card. And I think I got a video card. I think it had, so I went and got a new video card. And I think it might have had 16K of of memory, something like that. And I put it in a computer and then I went, oh, shit. Wow. So they were seeing, you know, I was now with my new video card. <laughs> I had a, a better, you know, and but they, at their end, even though I had a I was sending out video. They were saying they probably had a better video. They probably had a video card that had 32 gig or not gig or K of memory, you know. So I went, oh, but that didn't stop me because I just continued doing my thing. But I thought, oh, well, you know, wow. Yes, you learn something all the time. So been there, done that. Um, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you very much.